Fishing the Flats with host Henry Wanschuk and Billy Clyde is brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Live Target, lifelike lures. Mud Hole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. Oh Hero, conquering the fishing world. Look at that. Look at the size of this fish. Beautiful. Welcome to a brand new season of Fish in the Flats. I'm Henry Waschuk. I tell you, we're gonna have a great season. Boy, lots of great action. And we're gonna start off this week right in the sport fishing capital of Florida, and that's Isla Mirada. I tell you, there we're gonna be fishing for those big shark, and I tell you, with a great little technique using a balloon clip. And then we're off to Belize in Central America, beautiful crystal clear water, and we're gonna be looking for that wily permit. But I tell you, there's so much more. We've got a great resort feature, and it's gonna be Turnip Island Resort. What an incredible place. Hey, we got our grill recipe as well, grouper mac and cheese for surf and turf. So sit back and enjoy, because what we're gonna start off with are those great shark on the flats, shallow water fishing at its best. Kind of shallow water, what's really nice. I mean, bigger shark, you'll see a fin come up. He's got one, it. Henry. <laughs> Look at this. I think we got him jumped up, buddy. Jaws, jaws. I'm gonna let him. All right. So I guess I shouldn't put the second no, bait no, out. No, not yet. <laughs> it shakes. Boy, I tell you. See how how Look soft it. the bottom is yeah, here. Yeah. He's kicking it all up. Yeah. Okay, take the clicker off. Oh, oh man, I couldn't believe the head shakes on this. Oh, come on, there baby. There he is, there he is. We might even save our bait, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we've got you here. I can't tell you how much fun I have with these sharks, Henry. Yep. I mean, it's one of my favorite things to do. Whew. You want me to hold that and you're gonna take the hook out of them? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, I need you're, my digits you're for, the for tying up knots. <laughs> We can try to de-hook him, see how it's hooked. Oh uh, boy, well, he's hooked right in the corner of the mouth, but it's all that stuff that's yeah. in that mouth that yeah. worries me. Look all at right. that. All right, I'll try it. Look, he's still eating. <laughs> you just hold the rod. I rock. need that piece of bait back, Henry. Yep, Let me okay. back out of this. Uh-oh. Keep that piece of meat. <laughs> all right. Oh, the wire broke. Can you imagine, there he is right there. The wire broke. Wow, were we lucky. Coming up, another balloon Fisher King shark. Look at oh, him, look at him go. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Tires Plus, your total car care center. As part of the Everglades National Park, Florida Bay is universally known among those who love to fish as the backcountry, which stretches from the southernmost tip of the mainland south to the Florida Keys. The water in the bay seldom exceeds a depth of 10 feet, and in many places it's less than 18 inches deep for miles on end. Hundreds of mangrove islands dot the bay and are ringed by skinny flats that make a perfect home for almost every shallow water fish imaginable. You can access Florida Bay from Flamingo or from dozens of jumping off points in the Keys from Key Largo through Isla Mirada. So getting there isn't a problem. Get it through here. Let's see if we can get somebody to come along. Feed this line out. There he goes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time here. Let him digest it, Henry. <laughs> oh yeah, this is awesome. Where are you? Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Come on. 
We're gonna go to the back. Oh, oh there he goes. Beauty. He's close to the boat. Oh yeah. Head shakes. What you got there, buddy? Yeah. Nice little lemon, huh? Four and a half, five feet. Yeah, about yep. four feet probably. Beautiful fish. I'll give you the. Yeah, look at that. You want to take that hook out of him? We'll try. All right, buddy. We'll try. Watch those chompers. All right, loosen up on him. Okay, let's see. <laughs> He's not used to that. Yeah, is he? he doesn't. He goes. Listen, I'm trying, buddy, to release this. It's hard with a circle. There you go. There he goes. There you goes. go. Look at that. Nice job, buddy. Yeah, thank nice you. Job. Hank's Tip of the Week is brought to you by Mudhole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. You know, when you're shark fishing, you never know what size of fish is going to hit. It could be a five-footer, it could be a ten-footer, so you really have to make sure you've got a good rod and reel outfit. I've been using this rod, and I mean, I've caught up to, you know, a 14-foot hammerhead on this one. So always double up your line, at least for a little bit, because I tell you, if you get a spinner shark or a, a black tip that's on top of the water, it's going to flip around a lot, and you want to make sure you have some protection. Get down to about a four, three, four-foot leader, and that leader should be at least 80-pound leader. You might want to go heavier so that it, you're not going to lose a fish. And then wire of choice, you know, there's such a, you know, you can go different pound strengths, you know, the AFW, American Fishing Wire, is pretty awesome. So if you have these rigs and so on, I'll tell you what, you'll catch yourself some shark. But the most important thing is have some fun with the balloon. Fisher King makes this product, and I say with the clip, I tell you, it's so easy. So what you want to do is you just take wherever you want, and I don't go too, too far, especially in shallow water. What I do is take that clip, make sure the line's right through it. You take your balloon, and all you do is put the tab right there and then around and you're ready to go. And I tell you what, it's so exciting to see that shark come up behind that balloon and just take off. It's Jaws number two. All right, get my clicker on. Easy fishing, lots of fun. Hey, look at him, look at him. Just came by our bait. All right, there he's running. Have, have we got a bite? Yes, indeed. Somebody likes something. <sighs> Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When he jumps now, give him that give him that bow like he's a tarpon. That's that fish that was swimming in, yeah. in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, get the clicker off. We have enough for that. Awesome. Pretty fine morning of shark fishing, huh, buddy? I'm telling you, with that cold front that we've been getting in Florida, and yet, you know, it's crazy up north, I'll take this any day. Oh, yeah. Flip flops oh, and shorts, buddy. Big head shakes. He's Ooh. heading off towards uh, the, the west coast. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Come on. Good head shakes. Ooh, yeah. Look how, isn't that beautiful out here, this setting? Oh, yeah, look at that. You know? You know, in the shallow water, seeing all these fish, seeing them come up and eat the bait, it's just, yeah. there's something great about it. I mean, here we're fishing in three and a half, four feet of water. You get to see almost everything happening. It's a wonderful thing. I love that light tackle, sport yeah. fishing in shallow water. I think he's going back to my balloon. Get away. Yep, black tip. That was the one that was. Coming around, huh, not it? Okay, now, buddy. What a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Let me get in there and grab that. I don't think, I don't see the hook there. I don't know if it's going to be able to, or is that a cutter? Boy, he's, I think you, That's I a think cutter. you ought to cut him. He's right in there. Close that handle. There you go. Okay, buddy. Okay, there he is, right there. There he is. is. Taking off. Nice day of shark fishing. Hey, buddy. awesome. <laughs> Good to see you after all these years. Coming up, one incredible island resort.
This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Empower Technologies. Throw away your jumper cables forever. Our second stop in this week's adventure takes us to Belize, which is the only English-speaking country in all of Central America. Our host resort, the incredible Turniff Island Resort. This Caribbean resort will be our home away from home for a few days, and man, are we looking forward to it. These waters offer some of the greatest flats fishing for a variety of fish, and Henry's joined by sidekick Captain Billy Clyde to catch the smartest and wisest of all of them, the incredible strong fighting permit. Just yeah, I don't know if I can reach him. But I'll try. Coming right at us. Coming to the left. Still following it, Henry. Got him. All, All right, right, baby. Woo uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh yeah. Look at him scream that <laughs> real. Oh, 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 hero, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at him go. <laughs> that is unreal. The nice thing about permit fishing, especially when there's more than one, they're so competitive. You know, so if you throw anything out, whether it's a fly or a bait, I'll tell you, they, you know that one of them's gonna eat. Oh yeah. Come on. Stay in sideways. Oh, there's another one with them. Look, at, there yeah. is another one. All right, we're keeping this fish right out in front of us. Come on. Oh, baby! All right. <laughs> Good job. Yes! <laughs> How about that? Hey, that, you only get a half a point because I had to keep my fish in the water. <laughs> Way to go. I'll take it. A half a point's better than no point. But I'll tell you, if you've got more than one permit around and they're hanging around, and a lot of species are like that, you know, that's a, a trick to do it. I know those of you that fish offshore with uh, Dorado, the mahi-mahi, that's a notorious keeping that fish in the water and the others will stick. So how are we going to manage this one, you know? Well, I'm going to uh, pass the rod over here and we'll land them. Beautiful permit. All right. Look at that. Beautiful or what? And oh, yeah. Tough fighters. That's <laughs> awesome. Get that hook out. Oh, mine is still dogging out there. Perfect. Oh, what a beautiful fish, Billy. All right. Look at this. One more look. Look at this. Yep. And he's going to just swim away with that big fin. In this beautiful gin clear under, water. Under the boat. All right. <laughs> Up now, to you, buddy. Now's my turn, right? Yep. Powerful fish, smart fish. Except when we're around, we've got them figured out. <laughs> That's it. Come on over and see Uncle All Hank. Right. Looks ready. Come on. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. All right. Oh, I love it. There I you love go. it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's a beauty. The hook's perfect, right in the corner. Fires are Sweet. Good. Got it. Yeah. All right. Gorgeous permit fishing. Look <laughs> at that. Well, we're going to get this guy back so he can breathe. <clears throat> no problem. Live to fight another day. Oh. Look how beautiful they are sitting there. Yeah, look at that glistening in that sun. The tail tail long dorsal fin. Yeah. That we're uh. looking for always <laughs> out here on the flats. <laughs> All right, there you go, baby. Look at that. See you later. Go back to your school. This week's resort feature is brought to you by the top selling Fish and Guy app. Turniff Island Resort is a private Caribbean island located 30 miles off the coast of Belize at the southern end of the Turniff Atoll. It's part of the second largest barrier reef in the world. The exclusivity, charm, and subtle hospitality have created an environment that needs to be experienced to truly appreciate it. The location of Turniff Island Resort provides quick access to fishing for permit, bonefish, barracuda, and more. Plus, this island resort has been recognized for more than 40 years as one of the top flats fishing destinations in the world. Watch sunsets from your private cabins nestled in the coconut palm trees. The handcrafted mahogany and teak air-conditioned rooms are beautifully manicured with great ocean views. 
And at the end of your day, you can relax at the pool in Palapa Bar and tell tales of catching the big one. From family-style Belizean meals to the great waterfront barbecues, this resort needs to be on your bucket list. And don't forget, Turnip Island Resort also offers some of the finest diving you can experience anywhere. Coming up, another permit and a great recipe on the grill. Grouper mac and cheese with a steak marinara. We'll, uh, we'll plate it up. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Rockport Rattler Jig, the dinner bell for fish. Your fishing approach is important when it comes to catching permit. They're generally slower and more deliberate in examining their prey, and they're also finicky and spook easily. So knowing when and where to cast is the key to your success. It's all about keeping your mind and eyes focused on the permit and their behavior, watching them feed, analyzing their swim pattern, mastering the timing of presenting the bait or fly in the right spot at the right time. Of course, with more shots, the more experienced you'll become, and you'll find success just like this. Oh, look at him tailing. Did he eat it? Not, not yet, not, not yet. Circling, he's circling. I'm shaking so bad right Just now. Just let him eat it, let him eat it. Come on, turn back. Got him, baby! Right. Here we go. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I am shaking so bad right now, Henry. I was going to end up casting. <laughs> you took so long on that fish. Oh my gosh, good eyes, good eyes. A lot of people know. don't realize, see, when a per permit's feeding, it's always down. So it's, you know, it's not like a bonefish looking up ahead, you know, and what happens, this is perfect weather for catching permit, because if this was flat, and you had even thrown that bait that close, that, that close to that fish, scoop. Gone, yeah. I mean, even if you throw six feet away, but when you have this ripple, they feel more comfortable. You just make that cast and almost like within a foot of their, and they'll circle and they'll pick it up just like that one. Look at that color in that fish. It's just almost like a lime green yeah. in the water. Beautiful fish. Come on over. Nice and easy. All right, let me come around this way, baby. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay, come on. Well, almost, gonna... anyways. Still got some fight in them, huh? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Hey, That's actually the first permit. How you doing? <laughs> That's the first one I've ever caught on a flat in my life. All right, let's see if we get the hook out. Perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. What a gorgeous fish. Beauty. Beauty. Nothing like it. Look at that. Let's get him have a little drink. All right, baby, he's about ready to go. Look at that. Crown Verity presents this week's Black River Surf and Turf Recipe on the Grill. All right, Steve, we got my nice grouper, the Black River Angus. Well, it's gonna be grouper mac and cheese with a steak marinara. Let's go on a high heat. I'm gonna give you some fish right now. Looks good. Man, what a Don't beautiful. Don't put the steak on, though. Okay, let's get it. Okay, Steve, let's look at this fish, because that's... Oh, that's yeah, that's ready. Good. It looks really good. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That looks good, Steve. Let me check the fish. I think it's going to be that ready. That looks really good. I'll cut that up, and we'll assemble it. Yeah. All right. Look at that. That looks really nice. Look at that side view. Is that awesome or what? Woo. That's nicely cooked. So I'm just going to kind of chunk this out. That is a lot of fish, especially when we got That's the it. surf and turf with the Black River Angus. Man. That looks really good. I think I'll probably put this much in right here. And then we're going to fold these nice big chunks in. Yep. Wow. Beautiful. Let's take this. Right. And pour it into here. And we'll just kind of fill it up. OK. And Whoops. That looks really good. See how creamy that is? Yeah. All that sauce. Nice. That's really good. Now, we're going to put some panko on the top. Panko breadcrumbs. It's really good. If you're going to use a breadcrumb, use this one. That looks really good. Sort of on the bun rack at the top there. That's really good. 370 degrees till it's hot and bubbly. Yeah. And you'll see it start to brown up a little bit on the top. We'll let that go for a bit, and then we'll start the steak marinara. 
All right, we got the Black River Angus. And let's take a look, because it's been brown. Oh, yeah. That looks good. It's been browning nice. Let's take that off and let it sit for a bit. I'll just put wow. a little bit of oil on this. That looks awesome. That's on. That's not going to take long to steak. All right. I'm going to put this pan on. Warm that up. This is steak marinara. There's a marinara that I'd like you to pour in, please. OK. And I'm going to give you a little spatula. We'll heat, get some heat into that. Yep. It's on hot. Looks good. That's a nice piece. Thank you. Look at that. That looks good. And you want the steak medium rare. Yeah, that would be really nice. Let us go on here. And I'll get you to grill the yep. buns, and I'll hit this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? We don't want to cook the steak too much, because it's going to flip into the sauce okay. here. Oh. That looks really good. Look good. Like that. <laughs> We're going to have another great surf that. and turf. All right, there you go. Nice. We'll scoop a little bit of this on, on the top. So it, it continues to cook in the sauce a little bit. That's why I like to go with the a medium rare, so. Beauty or what? Yeah. You talk about that. Cooper mac and cheese with a steak marinara. We'll, uh, we'll plate it up, and it's gonna look really good and taste good, too. You know, I've been traveling around the world for fishing destinations for 29 years, and I love it. Belize is a great country, beautiful crystal clear waters with a variety of fish. But I gotta tell you one thing, Florida certainly has a lot to offer, not just the shark, but such a variety of species. Get out there, enjoy the great outdoors, it's beautiful. I'm Henry Washak. hey, we'll see you next week on another great episode of Fish in the Flats. Don't miss next week's show as we stock some nice sea trout in southwest Florida's skinny waters. Then we fly to Andros Island in the Bahamas for big fish as we visit one incredible luxury fishing destination called Tiamo Resort. Closed captioning has been provided to you by The Fin Shop, one-stop shopping for all your fishing needs. Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde was brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, Live Target, Mudhole, and O'Hero. Hey. Oh, hey, no. nice! Yeah, look at that. Look at the size of this thing.